Hello, this is Fight Me, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the best and my favorite army comps for the last four remaining factions. And then I'm pretty sure I covered all of them. And as you can see in this video, we have Parfia, Lustani, Circus, and Arverni. For Parfia on attack, you got to bring the Royal Cataphracts, 7 Parfian Swords, you must get the Parfian Foot Archers, they have 40 missile damage, precision shot, 150 range. The only thing that they don't have is good armor, but that's fine, you just got to shoot infantry with this one. Never bring the Elite Persian Archers, they are 100% scam. Then for attack, you have to bring artillery as Parfia, because Parfia on attack is really bad because you got to search for things to spend your money on and you want to help your teammates out in as many ways as possible so bringing an arty is a definitely good option further i would bring an extra cataphract fill your army up with some hillmen and then finally get one median cap and here you go this is the Parfian army that i would rock with on attack it's really not that strong of an army so yeah i would not recommend especially for a newer player to play Parfia on attack let's go now to lusitani for lusitani on attack you want to get two lusitani nobles obviously seven fed shield warriors four Balearic slingers because Balearic slingers if you just shoot units head-on they can get at least 200 kills you just got to make sure they don't get shot but further you want to get an RT for Lustani same with Parfia you want to help your teammates in as many ways as possible I would also go with the Scutari calf to protect yourself and your teammates from sally outs especially Lustani against cavalry is very weak because they have low armor and low mass and that means getting charged by cavalry or cataphracts any shot calf, will be devastating for them so that's why having one cavalry unit even on attack can be be very useful and then finally you want to get one Lustani Gorilla for the Gorilla deployment to deploy the tortoise and the towers close to the wall and especially the towers to take out the enemy artillery and then finally one Iberian Swordman with five pila rounds a very nice unit but just so low armor that is really risky and there you go this is the Lustani army that I would bring let's head over to Syracuse on attack so for Syracuse on attack you want to get the Forex Hoplites as a general obviously you want to get the free Semnites very strong units then you want to fill it up with seven Forex Swords you could go with the Blaric Slingers on attack but I would say go for the archers get for cheap archers and then fill your army up with more mid tiers and then finish it up with one first spear there you go this makes your army very strong you got 14 mid tiers that's crazy 14 mid tiers to grind through which six of them got 90 plus armor and yeah just a very strong army archers to shoot infantry with and the extra for your spear and you can upgrade one archer so that's syracuse on attack let's now go to arverni for arverni on attack it's similar to boyai we're gonna get two oswarns seven chosen swords also for arverni get obviously the four arches which got gorilla deployment then also get one rd piece and fill it up with Celtic Swords and then upgrade one of them. And there you go, this is the Arverni army. What you also could do is delete the artillery piece and get more Celtic Swords. And you could also delete one Celtic and get two Levy Freeman. And what the third option is for Arverni is delete all your low tiers, get one extra Oathsworn and get four Levy Freeman. It is a nice zero, but I don't know, man. This is a little bit weird. No low tiers, just for one extra Oathsworn. I would prefer getting all those low tiers for Arverni. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Let's head now over to Parfia on defense. So Parfia on defense is much better than on attack. You get the Royal Cataphracts again, 7 Parfian Swords obviously, 4 Parfian Foots with the 40 missile damage. Then you want to get some Hillman obviously to get the Pila and to cycle charge with your Parfian Swords. And now it gets a little bit more difficult because you could go with the Eastern Scorpion and get a cavalry unit with an extra Hillman, which is honestly not that bad. Got a lot of units with Pila, one to distract their archers outside and a Scorpion units to focus at their elite units or maybe archers. But what you also could do is delete the Noble Horse, delete the Scorpion, get the Summation Lancer, get the Camel Spearman as extra distraction outside, and then you're 10 short of a Scorpion. So you delete one Hillman, get the Scorpion, and get the Eastern Spearman. This is the second option for Parfia, I would say. But yeah, I'm not sure what I would prefer. I think they're both pretty nice, but I'm not sure. I really need your opinion for this one, because they're both decent to bring. Now let's get to Lustani on defense. For Lustani on defense, you want to get one Lustani Noble, seven Veteran Shield Warriors, three Balearics this time, not four. Get one Iberian Swords, get the Scutari Cavalry, and then fill it up with Iberian Swords. And there you go, this is the army I would bring. It's a decent army, and there are a lot of units to shoot at, a lot of units with a lot of killing potential, but you got to be on top of your micro and have really nice teammates to help you. For Syracuse on defense, you want to get again the Forex Hoplite as a general, get three Samnites, seven Forex Swords, get the free Balearic Slingers 100%, especially on defense, it's very strong. Fill it up with one Archer, and then what I do is just get the extra first spear. And there you go, this is the the Syracuse army and then you got to upgrade the Furious Spear. It's not bad, you got 11 mid tiers. Basically your whole army has a lot of killing potential. The Archer and the Furious Spear are a little bit harder to use and the Balearic Slingers but the rest are pretty easy to use and you just got to cycle charge 
Dutch, Pila, and do all those crazy stuff. But last but not least, we got Arverni on defense. One Oathsworn is enough. Seven Chosen Swords. Go with the four Gallic Hunters, because Gallic Hunters are just nice. Can easily go hidden too, and just a pretty nice unit. And finally, you want to basically fill it up with your Celtic Warriors, and one Lady Freeman. Oh yeah, and by the way, you want to get the Strategist General Ability. So those were all my favorite and best army comps. If you want to know army comps for other factions, you can watch this playlist now on your screen. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to support me, join the Patreon or YouTube membership. I appreciate all of you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.